FedEx Field, currently the largest stadium in the league at nearly 91,000 seats, will be our location for the upcoming game between Denver and Washington. We'll now go to Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth for our call. Guys? It will be clear and mild for today's game. Hello, folks. Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth getting set for this one. Well, get your bowl of popcorn, your favorite beverage, get settled in. We're just about ready for the opening kick. You always want to have a successful first drive. It really sets the tone for the whole game offensively. Let's see how they do here. Portis takes it up the middle. What a hit! Gain of four. That'll bring up second down. A lot of playmakers on offense for Washington. Let's take a look. Setting up play action. He lost yardage on the play. He stopped short of the line on the play. He just couldn't make anything happen after he brought it in. Good job by the defense. The Redskins come out with three wide receivers. Quarterback in the shotgun. Oh, and they got him. Campbell was brought down for the sack. The Redskins are lining up to punt it away. The Broncos have everyone on the line. Looks like they're coming after this one. Frost will kick it away. And boy, did he get all of this. What a punt. Royal fields it at the 39. He took a shot at the 48-yard line. They gave up way too many yards on the return there, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, without a doubt. As part of the coverage team now, you've got to free yourself from that blocker as quickly as possible. And if you can't do that, you're going to give up some big returns. Tackled at about the 41. A nice six-yard gain by the halfback. So second down now. The offense needs about four for the first. He gets another carry. He fights forward to about the 40. The halfback picks up a yard. Here are some of the key players on Washington's defense. Out of the eye formation. Little handoff. Brought down behind the line. Excellent job by the defense to force a three and out. Always thought the most important portion of any drive was that first first down. It gives you a little offensive momentum going, but anytime you go three and out, it is so tough on your defense. A lot of times, three and outs translates to points against your team and a tired defense. They get this one off, and it's a great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. And he catches it. Brought down around the 27-yard line. Just a short, efficient throw that time. Yeah, a true sign of patience on the offensive side. You let the play develop. You find uh, the open receiver. Maybe he takes a look down the field. It's not there. Just go ahead and take that safe throw. Rifles it right. Interception. At the 30. He's brought down at the 18-yard line. Great catch by the linebacker. Not a smart throw from the quarterback. You know, it's hard to believe that you can lose a guy that big, but sometimes those linebackers dropping underneath in coverage, quarterbacks just don't see him, and he threw it right to him. First and 10, ball on the 18-yard line. The Broncos come out in a single back formation. Hands it off. 
and they get him right around the 16-yard line. Young only gets about a yard there on the halfback counter. Young, the lone back. Denver uses motion. Let's go, let's go right, right, right. He throws left. They finally bring him down, and it's first and goal. And a big catch by the tight end. And I can tell you this, there's nothing that defensive backs hate more than to have one of those big tight ends in the open field running right towards them. Sets up the play action. Out of bounds, incomplete. The receiver was out of bounds when he made the catch. Not a perfectly timed throw that time. Held on to it just a little too long and led the receiver out of bounds. He fakes it. Throws off his back foot. Makes a move and he's in. Touchdown. Nice play call on that one to get the ball in the receiver's hand. Well, this quarterback isn't always perfect, but when he gets hot, he can make throws like that into small spots that are so impressive. Here's the kick. Extra point is good. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. And here's the kick. Hartwright from the eight. He's hammered at the 29-yard line. On his last drive, the quarterback completed a pass, but to the other team, throwing another one could be disastrous to this offense. Portis lines up as the deep back, I formation. Fakes to the back. Throws it. No connection there. Randall L was unable to make the catch on that pass attempt. The Redskins line up in an I formation. They hand it off. He didn't get back to the line. He couldn't get anywhere on that one. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. Drops back to pass. He's under a heavy rush. It's tip. And that incomplete pass will probably lead to the punting unit coming out onto the field as they go three and out. Yeah, that series just never seemed to get off the ground. Nothing they tried there seemed to work. He gets it away. Royal takes it at the 32. He's dropped around the 49-yard line. What happened to the coverage there, Chris? Oh, come on. They completely lost containment on that guy. I mean, you just can't let that happen. I'll be honest. They were really lucky they didn't give up a touchdown on that one. Fakes to the back. Throws it short. Pass completed. Brought down at the 41-yard line. A nice completion to the tight end. I always thought tight ends were sort of like pacifiers for babies, you know? Just about the time that you need a little security blanket, you know where to go. They give it to the tailback. And they get him at the 40. And he manages to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. Second and nine. Ball on the 40-yard line. Two tight ends here. Back to pass. He's under pressure. Makes the reception. 
He's dropped at the 35. Pretty nice throw on that play. And a pretty good catch on the other end, too. That's one of those plays that's quickly becoming one of the staples in this offensive passing attack. Looks to pass. He throws on the run. Throws into coverage, and it's intercepted. Nice pick for the safety. You could see the quarterback that time trying to look the safety off, but this safety is simply too smart. He was having none of it and jumped in front to make the interception. Brought down at the 12. A nice pickup of about eight yards. You know, one of the dangers of blitzing is that if you can break that first line of the defense, now you just don't have the pursuit in behind it to stop the run. Strong throw. And they get him at the 19-yard line. They get about seven yards on the pass and pick up a first down. Good discipline that time by the quarterback. You don't always have to throw the football down the field. If it's open, quickly, short, just get the ball to the receiver and let him go to work. It's the tailback. And he will lose yardage on the play. A great defensive effort there. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. Sets up the play action. On the run, he throws it. He's dropped at the 29-yard line. Nothing wrong with that pass. It goes for a good game. You know, and when you talk to some of these receivers, they say the real strength of this quarterback is that he throws a very, very catchable ball. He's looking to throw. Crosses the line. I'm not sure he would have had that if it wasn't for that extra effort. Yeah, a little guts, a little determination on that one. Those are the type of conversions you have to make if you're going to win football games. Setting up play action. He goes up high for the catch. Good yardage that time on the pass. And how'd you like that throw by the quarterback? A little touch, a little lob in over the top, like an alley-oop in basketball. The Redskins line up in an I formation. Campbell back to pass. He's been perfect on this drive. He's there for the catch. He's brought down at about the 47-yard line. Moss gains four yards on that reception. It's the ninth play of the drive. Single back formation. Campbell has completed every pass on this drive. Completed. Knocked out of bounds at the 32 yard line. And they pick up the first down with a pass to the tight end. If you're going to try and stop a tight end from catching those types of balls, you have to get physical with him at the line of scrimmage. If you give him free releases, he's going to wear you out. It's first and ten as this offense continues its march down the field. Campbell drops back to pass. Throws while on the run. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. You know, it's really easy to overlook those big guys on the line, but they did a good job picking up the blitz there. Yeah, it's pretty tough to play a zone coverage against this quarterback. He does a great job in recognition, and that time you could see him move the zone defense just a little with his eyes before he threw it in there. Portis off the left side, and they get him at the 13. They get two yards. 
And you can really see the defensive play calling becoming a little more aggressive now. They're blitzing on passing downs, they'll blitz on run downs, and that can really put a lot of pressure on an offensive line. Portis gets another carry. Cuts back and he's dropped. The running back gains two yards on the carry. Offense with third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 11. Campbell has completed every pass on this drive. Right through his hands, he almost had the pick. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. And it splits the uprights. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. He kicks it off. He'll return it from the three. Drill at the 26-yard line. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. Play action. Passes left, and it's caught. He's tackled at the 35. Nice toss that time that'll get them a lot closer. You know, there's really no doubting this quarterback's physical skills. Sometimes he struggles with his mechanics or accuracy, but I don't think that there's really any issue. This guy has the ability to be an elite quarterback. There's a play fake. He threw off his back foot. Brought down around the 49-yard line. A good play fake that time. It really was. I didn't see it. I thought it was a run play. He pulled it out of there and came up with a nice game. Setting up play action. Passes the line. He's brought down at about the 49-yard line. He'll pick up uh, less than a yard on the quarterback scramble. They come out with a big set. Play action. He's going to take off. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line. Personal foul, face back, defense. The defense First can't down. keep getting up yards on penalties like this. Yeah, it's hard enough in the game today with the rule changes to help the offense to stop an offense anyway, but you can't give away yards. Gives to the back. He's dropped for a loss. The defense seemed to do everything right there. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. Graham goes in motion to the right. He drops back to pass. Gets the pass out. Caught out of bounds, incomplete. The quarterback led the receiver just a little too much. Yeah, he put a little too much on that pass and forced the receiver to make the catch out of bounds. Cutler drops back. Passes. He makes another reception on the drive. Not too bad a pass there. Not too bad at all. And sometimes those little touch throws are actually more difficult than the bullet passes. Kind of hard to come up with the timing to hit the receiver right in stride, but that was well thrown. Looks to pass. Guns it right. Leaping catch. They bring him down, and it's first and goal. Excellent pass by the quarterback on that play. 
I'm really enjoying watching the timing between this receiver and the quarterback. We're seeing a well-schooled offense now going to work. Cutler will be sacked. Looks like someone just missed their assignment on that. The tough part for a quarterback is trying to identify who the Mike Backer is because what they want is they want offensive linemen handling the big guys, handling the guy they think may be blitzing, may be rushing on a play. If you misidentify that guy, you can get hit in the back of the head. He's dropped at about the five yard line. Young picks up about four yards on the toss play. The offense will line it up at the six. Let's go, Let's go. Washington brings in the nickel here. He needs to get the pass off. It's completed. A nice play as the offense gets it in through the air. The passing game is really completely different once you get inside that 10 yard line. You don't have time to sit and hold the ball. That time he got it out quickly and got it in there for the touchdown. They'll look to tack on the extra point. Here's the kick, and the point after is good. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. And here's the kick. He'll return it from the four yard line. Drilled at the 23. The offense was only able to muster a field goal on their last drive. We'll see what they do with this possession. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Fakes the run. Dumps it out right. Tackled around the 32-yard line. Nice little pickup on that pass pattern. And I really shouldn't feel this way, but I get a little nervous every time this guy goes up to make a catch, you know, because he's had a little bit of a history of dropping some balls, but today doing a nice job hanging on and a big play there. They line up in a one-back set. Campbell dropping back. He throws it. He's brought down at the 41-yard line. A good play to the tight end that time. And tight ends are so big that as coverage people, it's tough to figure out how to defend them. If you're on their left side, they throw it to their right side. If you're behind them, they throw it in front. Tight ends are tough to cover. First down, looking to throw. And he has plenty of room. The defender gets him to the ground. They just couldn't get to the quarterback in time. It's one of the dangers. You bring those extra defenders trying to get after the quarterback, and you're going to leave some man coverage on the outside. That time, the quarterback able to take advantage. On play action, gets it off. Tight coverage, and it's picked off. And that was a poor decision on the part of the quarterback. And I still don't know why he made that throw. I mean, the coverage was there. There was absolutely no spot to put that ball, and he threw it anyway. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Three wide receiver set. Gets the ball away. He's tackled at the 35. And a pretty smart play call right there. It really is so much the key to football. You talk all the time about you have to establish the run. Well, there you see why you establish the run and then you come with the play action pass. Just so hard to defend. 
Drops back on first down. He catches another. And they get him at the 17. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did. And when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. They motion to the right. Young on the give. He fights forward to around the 16. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Second down and nine to go. Let's go, guys. Come on. Young lines up as the single back. Man in motion. He's looking to throw. Dumps it out left. Makes the catch. And he's knocked out at about the 11. Nice pass and catch on that play that gets him a lot closer. Yep, and that's really just the way they drew that one up. You take what the defense gives, looking to move the ball efficiently downfield with intermediate passes. Fakes the run. Throws to his left. Tips it away. What a play by the defender. And the quarterback really caught a break on that one that that wasn't intercepted. Set down, the kick is up, and it splits the uprights. And here's your drive summary for that last series. Decent kick. Cartwright from the five. Runs over tacklers. He's hammered at the 33. The quarterback and his receiver were clearly not on the same page last time, and it led to an interception. Portis lines up as the single back. There are three receivers split out wide. Setting up play action. Hit hard at the 43-yard line. He shows no hesitation and gets it in there to get the first down. Yeah, you wouldn't hesitate either if you were standing back there in the pocket. I say the heck with it. Get it out of there fast. Let somebody else handle it for a little while. Tackled at the 46-yard line. Clinton Portis is one of the really entertaining guys that you'll find in the National Football League. I've been in on several production meetings with this guy, and he keeps you laughing. Of course, he has all those characters that, that he does. But when he puts that helmet on and he gets out there on the field, this is one of the toughest running backs in the game, and he is a big play guy as well. Portis gains around six yards on the counter play right there. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 40-yard line. The defense come out with five defensive backs this time. Fakes the run. Knocked away. Davis was the intended receiver, but the pass fell incomplete. They line up in the I formation. Gives it off. And he's drilled at the 40. Nothing doing on the halfback delay. The Redskins line up to punt. Frost can pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. Gets the punt away. Goes into the end zone for a touchback. They had to settle for a field goal on their last drive. They take the field again, looking to put up another score. Young is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He looks to throw on first down. Throws on the run. Brings it in. A pickup of about seven. Second and three now. Ball on the 27. The Broncos come out in a single back formation. Cut. 
They tackle him for a loss. No one picked up the linebacker, and it cost them. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. Looking to throw. Throws it out. And he's deep cleated at the 31. He makes the catch, and Chris, that'll move the chain. And they're doing it with short ball control type passes. This is the type of offense that really frustrates a defense. Here's the give. He's pushed out around the 40-yard line. Nine-yard pickup. That brings up second down. Second and a yard coming up. Ball on the 40-yard line. Denver lines up in a double-tight set. He'll get it again. He doesn't get back to the line. Tried to find something, but there wasn't anything there for him. Yeah, not anything at all. And as a running back, you're probably going back to the huddle going, uh, guys, uh, a little help, please. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And they get him at the 43-yard line. They're putting together a nice drive here. Yeah, and that's the second third down conversion of the drive. Defensively, those guys have been trying a lot of different looks and so far unable to come up with the right answer. Fakes the run. Catch is made. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. They complete the play-action pass for a gain of three. They line up at the 46. Young alone in the backfield. And they're coming after him. They get to him. Everything seemed to work exactly how they drew it up on that. I don't think there's any play in football that's prettier than a perfectly executed blitz. If you time out the snap count, if you disguise it, if you don't tip it to the quarterback, you end up with results like that. Big sacks, big plays. Surveys the field. Pass is complete. Knocked out at the 44-yard line. Despite the great effort, it will still bring up fourth. The Broncos are lining up to punt this one away. Randall L. is the deep man awaiting the return. Gets it away cleanly. He fields the punt at the 16. He's brought down around the 29-yard line. That guy just showed off some pretty good skills on that return. I thought for sure he was taking that one back to the house. You know, anytime you get a guy with that kind of skill level in the open field with a little room to run, good things are going to happen. He looks to throw on first down. He throws a bullet out to his left. Can't hang on. Oh my, the quarterback is lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Yeah, you try and fit some of those into some tight holes and every once in a while, you're gonna get one pick, but that was a pretty good play by the defense. Portis on the give. Brought down at the 33. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Man, oh man, that's what those defensive guys live for right there. A shot like that, and then they always get up and have a little something to say to you as you're going back to the huddle. And they get him at about the 35-yard line. The defense was able to stop him short of the first. Well, I'm sure the defense was caught a little off guard by that run call there, but... If you're going to call run there, you better pick up a first down or you're going to be reading about it in the newspaper the next day. Punts it. Royal takes it at the 25. 
and he's hammered at the 34-yard line. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. Offset eye formation in the backfield. They hand it off. He's tackled at the 35. He barely got it past the line of scrimmage that time, and that will bring up second down. Four wide receiver package out there. Cutler set to go to the air. The rush reaches him, and he goes down. It seems these days being a defensive end isn't just all about trying to run your blocker over to get to the quarterback. Yeah, you see more and more of these guys that are a little undersized for defensive linemen, but they make up for that size and bulk with great speed and agility. If they can turn the corner, they can really make a difference in a game. It's picked. Well, he looked like he was in the right place at the right time. Unless you're the quarterback, then he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Two tight end set. Campbell calls for motion right. Sets up the play action. He scrambles away. Oh, and he dropped it. The defender was able to get a hand on it. And really, that came as a result of pretty physical play at the line of scrimmage. They're banging these guys around and not letting them get into their routes. Here's the give. Tackled around the 27-yard line. I'd say he got one or two feet on that drive, and so it'll be third down. The Broncos line up with a quarter defense. There are seven defensive backs on the field. He drops back to pass. He's dropped. So I have to ask, what happened on this play? You know, it's difficult for an offense and an offense's ego to admit that you can't block somebody. But there are certain guys in the league that you just have to commit more people to block and, and don't let it bother you. You've got to protect your quarterback. He punts it. It'll go out at the 14-yard line. You have to like it when your putter can pin the ball inside the 20 like that. Now, this has got to be one of the tougher punts to make here. It's so easy to get a little too much on the kick, sending it into the end zone for a touchback. He did a great job hitting it just right on that one. He drops back. Gets the throw off. And it's picked. He's dropped at the 27. The defense looks like they're running a pick drill out there. And I think you said that well, because this has been a team defense. They've been getting pressure, good coverage in the secondary, and this quarterback is struggling. Man in motion. There's a play fake. Still going. The pass rush gets there, and he's down. Good job there by the end to get in there for the sack. Man, I'm really impressed by that guy out there. You know, you, you try to single block him, you can't. You try and double team him, you still can't block him. There are some guys in the league that are just too good. Looks to pass. Gets the throw away. Bats it away. Thomas was the intended receiver, but they can't complete the pass. They line up at the 35. Campbell is under center. Three receivers split out. He's looking to throw. Throws it short. Comes down with it. He's tackled at the 30. And for as good of a catch as that was, this offense now has to deal with a fourth down. Here's the kick. 
right down the middle. That was a great kick from that distance. It really was, wasn't it? There are no field goal kicker jokes going on on the sideline right now. Just a lot of love. He gets his leg into this one. Hauled from the one. He's hammered at the 29-yard line. It'll be interesting to see how this quarterback reacts after throwing an interception on his last drive. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Drops back to pass. He throws right. Out of bounds right around the 32-yard line. Pretty nice pickup on the pass that time. And that's simply good design and execution on the pattern. They work hard all week in practice to make sure that on game day, they have that timing down perfectly. The halfback with the carry. Tackle at the 33. Gain of under a yard. That'll bring up third down. From their own 33-yard line. And they'll line this one up with two tight ends. Play action. Rifles this one out to the left. He's brought down around the 46-yard line. Nice job by the quarterback to hit the tight end for a decent game. You know, tight ends may not come up with those real explosive plays down the field all the time, but they sure are a nice target for the quarterback. Throws it short, and the back has some running room. He's pushed out right around the 46-yard line. Sapp picked up six for that grab. That'll make it second down. The Broncos line up with an offset eye backfield. Fakes the run. And it's caught wide open. He's dropped at the 27-yard line. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. First down now and 10 to go. Cutler will line up with the shotgun formation. Cutler hasn't missed yet. He throws on the run. He's hit hard on the play. An impressive first half for the quarterback. You know, I know there are a lot of people out there who like to watch defensive football games. Not me. I like to watch a guy throw it around like this. His quarterback's hot, and he knows it. Play fake. Looks for a man open. Still perfect on the drive. Pretty nice read on that play to find the open man. Yeah, the two of them really have been working hard, building a rapport in practice, and now you're starting to see some of those results out here on the field. Cutler sends a man in motion. Sets up the play action. To the end zone. Deflected and broken up. And the defender breaks up the play. Just great position that time on the defensive side. The receiver really never had a chance on that one. Again with the run. And it looks short from up here. That play was stuffed from the get-go. And it's not very often that I get really excited about defensive line play, but that time the guys up front on defense were just overpowering. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. He kicks it off. He'll return it from the three. Drill at the 30. The last time they took the field, they were able to come away with three points. Portis is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Back to throw. He throws left, makes the grab. 
Brought down around the 34-yard line. Pretty good read on that play to find the open man. And that's an area where he excels. He works his way through his progressions quickly and doesn't hesitate when he sees a receiver break free in coverage. We're at the one-minute mark, first half. Cooley comes in motion. Looking to throw. Not much time to throw. He steps out at about the 33-yard line. No gain on that completion. So that'll make it third down. Drops back. The pass is away. And it's tipped away. So the offense will probably head off the field after failing to convert for a first down on that series. Well, you're going to have to gather the troops over on the sideline because whether it was poor play calling or poor execution, they never got anything going that time. Frost kicks it away. And did he ever get a hold of this one? Royal takes it at the 25. And they get him at the 44-yard line. And they take the field again, looking to capitalize on their previous drive, which resulted in a field goal. Cutler lines up under center. Only one man back here. Looking to throw. With the throw. Is there for the catch. Tackled at the 41-yard line. That pass is good for a first down. And he had some zip on that one, didn't he? He reared back and threw that one about as hard as he could. Drops back to pass. He's going to run. Denver will take a timeout. And now they've only got one remaining. One man in the backfield. He drops back to pass. Short throw to the left. Griffin bats it down. The pass was deflected and swatted away by the defender. I think the quarterback may have had to throw that ball a little sooner than he wanted to. The pressure was starting to get there. During the game. Sets up the play action. Gets the pass off. Brings this one in. He's dropped at the 25. That one worked just as they drew it up. Good pass, good catch, I agree. Sometimes there's really nothing you can do as a defense to stop a well-executed pass play. The Broncos will take their final timeout. From the 25-yard line. The kick is up, it's got the distance, and he makes it. And that was not an easy kick, Chris. Yeah, it looked like a little adrenaline kicked in on that one, didn't it? Maybe even surprised him how far he hit that one. And here's the kick. Taken from the three-yard line. They get him at the 25. They'll start this drive at the 25. First and 10. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Here's the give. He fights forward to about the 26. And we've come to halftime here. Score is 23-6. The kick. He'll take it from the two. At the 30. Hit and dropped at the 33-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Feeds it to the back. He's brought down at the 34-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Second down and eight. Ball on their own 34. Offset I formation in the backfield. Setting up play action. They get to the QB. 
That was an excellent play by the defensive end. Man, that guy has a great jump off the ball. In the league now, we are seeing some of the best athletes in all of football playing the defensive end position. And if you can't get them blocked, you're going to have to start thinking about chipping them with a back or putting a tight end over there. He drops back. Short throw to the right. Tackle right around the 34-yard line. They're able to complete the pass, but it won't be what they needed to keep the drive going. So many times in the games today, you see a quarterback settle for those underneath throws, where in this situation, it really is a time to try and push the ball down the field a little bit. Those quarterbacks, though, they don't like to take chances on interceptions, and clearly there I thought he could have taken a little bit more of a risk. Randall L. fields it at the 27. Decent return there. He'll give his offense pretty good field position. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. They hand it off. Great cut. He's hammered in the backfield. Nice stop on that one. Yeah, great defense at the point of attack, but also very impressive, the pursuit to the ball. They were all coming there. The Broncos bring in their quarter defensive package. Back to pass. And he caught it. He's tackled at the 41-yard line. And you won't see the coaching staff complaining about that yeah, coaching staffs generally don't complain about too much when they have a quarterback that has the leadership qualities and the arm strength and the ability that this guy has. Let's go, guys. Come on. And they'll try and get the first through the air. And he's got plenty of room to run. He's brought down at about the 39-yard line. That was a big-time play by the receiver. And talking to this receiver earlier this week, he told me he had a lot of plays in the playbook, and he thought he was going to have a big day. Portis gets the ball. He makes a move, and he's brought down. Looked for a seam, but he wasn't able to find anything. And let's give credit to the defense. They had a great push there. They got in the backfield, took control of their own gaps. Looks to pass. Dumps it out right. He couldn't hang on to it. A great play by the defense to knock the ball away. And these defenders have been close all day. You better be careful if you're the quarterback. One of those is going to turn into an interception. The Broncos line up with a quarter defense. There are seven defensive backs on the field. He drops back. Throws the bullet to the right. And he can't hang on to it. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. Frost punts it, and he really got a leg into this one. Down in the end zone for a touchback. They didn't look sharp on their last drive and were forced to punt it away. Denver is going with the offset eye backfield. He fakes it. Throws it short. Goes out of bounds at the 23. It's completed, but the defense appear to be waiting for it. Not much there at all. That's part speed and part anticipation by this defensive unit. They're always in great position, and you'll rarely see them get burned on passes like that. Fakes to the back. There for the catch. Brought down at the 35. The defense just didn't match up well on that play. Yeah, tough to match up one-on-one -on -one in man coverage against that wide receiver. He's pretty good. Cutler calls for motion left. 
He looks to throw on first down. With the catch. He tries to spin, but he's brought down. Great pickup for the first on that one. And really what makes NFL football so special is the ability of these quarterbacks to throw it and these great receivers to catch it. That's just fun to watch. First down now and 10 to go. Cutler steps up to the line, three wide receiver. It's the tailback. Tackle at the 44-yard line. Gain of less than a yard. Not very often in a game does a defender get a clean shot like that on a running back. Typically, the running back didn't see it coming to take that kind of a shot. Play action. Dumps it out left. And it's completed. He's dropped at the 16. He's put up some nice yardage grip. He sure has, but throwing for 300 yards probably isn't quite the same feat it used to be. You know, there's so many rule changes now. The offensive linemen can do a little more holding, use their hands more. Of course, you can't hit the receivers, but it's still a nice landmark. From the 16-yard line, Young, the lone back. Cutler sends a guy in motion to the right. This one appeared to be on the offense. Full start, offense. And that one got him five yards. Well, if you want to know why Pee Wee football coaches make you run a lap if you jump off sides, it's because it can really have a negative impact on your offense, just like that one. Cutler is looking to stay perfect on this drive. There for the reception. He's brought down around the 12-yard line. A gain of nine yards on the play. 11 yards out. Denver will line up in a jumbo set here. Young on the handoff. And they get him around the 11-yard line. I'd say he got one or two feet on that try. And that makes it third down. Only one man back. Setting up play action. Threw it right to him, but he can't hang on. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. He's got it. Not much doubt as he puts that one right through the upright. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. The kick. He'll return it from the one. And he's drilled. What a hit. They were forced to punt on their last drive. They'll set up shop at the 27-yard line. It's first and 10. And they motion a guy to the right. First down, looking to throw. Throws it. The backer picks it off. So the defense just picked off their third pass today. You know, one of the really misleading stats in football is completion yards. If you're throwing it up and down the field but turning it over, it just doesn't matter. You have to maintain possession of the ball. They go with the toss. Brought down at the 30. Young picks up about seven yards on the toss. Second and three. Ball on the 30-yard line. Only one man back. They'll give it off here. Hit and drop behind the line. He was caught with nowhere to go. This is a pretty good running back, and if you can hem him up like that, pretty impressive. Denver lines up in the offset eye this time. Let's go, 
play action. He didn't get his feet set as he threw. Almost picked. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. And he got plenty of distance on this one. And it's wide of the mark. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back. That was not his best effort. So the score will remain. The Broncos, 26. The Redskins, 6. Nickel defense. Campbell drops back. He throws right. And he catches it. He didn't get back to the line. The completion goes for negative yardage, loss of two. They did a great job of keeping containment there. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that one. Let's go, oh, come on. Run it. Washington sends a man in motion. Drops back to pass. Scans the field. Pass completed. He's dropped at the 48-yard line. Nice little pitch and catch with the wideout. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. Campbell hands it off. And they get him around the 47-yard line. The counter play is good for about a yard from the 47-yard line. Portis lines up as the single back. There are three receivers split out wide. Looks to pass. And the defense has a heavy rush. They might need to have the doctor take a look at him after that. Well, it looks like he's okay, but I don't know how. He cannot keep taking shots like that. And I'll tell you another thing. This guy's a tough guy. But I don't care who you are. As a quarterback, you take hits like that, you start looking at the pass rush. Makes the reception. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line. Still not quite enough, however. They'll still be facing fourth down. It's fourth down, and the punt unit onto the field to kick it away. Gets the punt away. And they will down it at the six. He did everything that was asked of him on that punt. Yeah, that was a great job. He kept it in the field of play. It was downed inside his opponent's territory. All the return man really could do in that situation is just get out of the way. He's looking to throw. Throws to the middle. He's brought down at the 13. Sapp caught that one for a gain of seven. They'll need about three yards here on second down. They line up with one running back in the backfield, three wide. Back to throw. And they're coming after him. He steps out at the 17. Nice job getting that pass out of there, and he picks up the first down. Yeah, smart play call that time by the offense. He could tell by the pre-snap read that short throw was going to be there, and he took advantage. Looks to pass. On the run, he throws it. And they get him at the 35. Good pickup by the receiver. And we've always talked about this receiver's big play ability. He may not be the fastest guy in the league, but you can tell he wants the ball in his hands in big situations. Play action. Gets away. Here's the throw, and he hasn't missed a pass yet. What a brutal hit. That catch puts him over 100 yards receiving. Not much doubt is there, Tom, as to who this quarterback likes. He found the guy that he's most comfortable with, and he doesn't care which coverage you're in. He's going to this guy. Raider, Raider, Raider. 
Brought down behind the line. Tried the run, but there was nothing available. And if you can make a running back hesitate just a little, that time you could see there really was no hole, and the running back was just fishing for a place to go. They'll keep it on the ground again. Dropped behind the line. He starts out the wrong way and winds up losing yardage. Well, that's no fun for the running back. It's one thing to get stuffed at the line of scrimmage, but when you start losing yards running the football, that's a disaster. Cutler hasn't missed yet. Rifles it to the left. He's dropped at the 41-yard line. They complete the pass on third and long, but they'll end up short of the marker. You can see the confidence level of this defense. They know they can make open field tackles, and that's probably one of the great lost arts in the game. The ability to make the tackle in the open field and stop them short of the first down. Good play defensively there. He punts it. Into the end zone for a touchback. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Looking to throw. And he goes down. They got him with a blitz that time. This is one of those defensive coordinators who's known for his exotic blitz packages. He could blitz any time, any down, any point in the game. If you're a quarterback, you usually don't sleep too well before you play against this guy. Campbell drops to throw. Throws while on the run. He's tackled at the 34. How about that pass? Well, they got caught in man-to-man -man coverage on that play, and I couldn't tell if the defender slipped a little bit or not. Maybe he just got beat on the play. They line this one up in shotgun. Four wide receivers are split out in the formation. He drops back. Scrambles for yardage. He's brought down at the 34-yard line. He was lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage on that scramble. So they'll face a second and 10. Ball on their own 34. Single back formation, three wide receivers. Campbell will look to throw. Can't complete it. Moss was the intended receiver, but they can't complete the pass. It's third and 10, ball on the 34. Washington goes with the ace set here. Drops back, passes the ball. He's dropped at the 41 yard line. It's completed, but it'll wind up short. Well, it's not a horrible call in that situation because you put the ball in the hands of a playmaker. You try and allow him to create, but you're seeing now defensively when they close together like that, it's going to be awfully tough to pick up that first down. Punts it. Royal takes it at the 23. Tackled around the 31-yard line. They were moving the ball on their last drive, but the defense held strong and forced the punt. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Pass the line. And he tucked that one away for about five yards. From their own 36-yard line. Watch the ball, watch the ball. Cutler comes to the line. Three wide formation. Cutler looking to pass. Short throw to the right. Brought down at the 45. And a nice pass to the tight end. So much of the game today revolves around those substitution packages trying to bring extra defensive backs on the field to try and help against the pass but when you have a big receiving tight end that really makes that plan awfully tough to execute he tries to wriggle away but he stopped for a loss well tom the offensive line just didn't get any push there they've got to do a better job knocking those guys off the line of scrimmage
He's dropped at the 43-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the halfback. So we'll head to the fourth with our score, the Broncos 26, the Redskins 6. Third and 12. Denver comes out with two tight ends. And he will lose yardage on the play. A lot of coaches would have tried to get the first game. Yeah, but you do gamble if you put the ball in the air in that situation. I think right now the coach is saying, I have more faith in my defense to make some stops than my offense to convert that play. He punts it. This one's going to go out of bounds at the 38. The defense could do no wrong the last time this team had the ball. He needs to get the pass off. Sacked! Perfect time to bring extra rushers on the blitz that time. You know, we talk about timing on offense all the time, but when you play against this defensive coordinator, he is going to consistently throw your offense off balance because of all the blitzes he's going to throw at him. You have to anticipate blitz on every snap when you play against this guy. Rockets it. Dropped an easy one. The defender got there in time to break that play up. He did. He was able to get his hands on the ball, but if he had missed that one, that one might have turned into a really big play. Campbell lines up in the gun. He has three receivers in the formation. And 300 levels. He drops back. Looks for a man open. He's there for the catch. He's tackled around the 48-yard line. He made the right read on that pass. Nice play that time by the quarterback. You know, we talk about progressions and going from one receiver to the next, but this quarterback is doing a great job in the pre-snap read, knowing who the first guy will be and getting him the football. Back to throw. He decides to run. He's brought down right around the 48-yard line. Nowhere to go for the quarterback. Pretty impressive on the defensive side that time. Not only did they get the play covered in the secondary, but there were enough people around the quarterback to keep him from breaking out of there on the run. Drops back to pass. Short throw to the left. And they get him around the 42-yard line. Randall L picks up around seven or so with that catch. Good enough for a first down. And that one keeps this drive going. Nice play that time by the quarterback and the receiver. First down, looking to throw. Andy has been his go-to guy on the drive. A hookup for a pretty good gain on that one. Nice pass. Yeah, good pass and good confidence by the quarterback there. He saw the opening. He knew there was a spot that he could get that in there. But you could see he had the confidence to let this receiver make a play. And that's really what pro football is all about. Looks down the field. The defense has him surrounded. The pass rush got it. And that's his fourth sack of the game. What do they have to do to stop him out there? This is getting ridiculous. Sack number four. Can anybody slow this guy down? Now, as an offensive coordinator, you have to completely abandon your plan and come up with something creative to get bodies in front of him. They sacked him. I'm really impressed with what this defense has been able to do in this game. Well, this is getting out of control. Sack number eight. Time to give the defensive coordinator a raise and fire this offensive line coach. Back to pass. Throws it short. Brought down at the 34-yard line. From their own 34-yard line. Washington lines up with five defensive backs. Cutler drops back on first down. He throws it. Smoot bats it away. Jackson was the intended receiver, but they can't complete the pass. They'll face second down and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Or proceed to an emergency medical services station. Available throughout the stadium. Let's go! 
looking to throw. He needs to make a decision. Schweiger catches it. Interception. Tackled at the 35. And the safety made a really nice play on the ball to grab that interception. You know, this safety is known for his big hits, but that time it was his soft hands that made the difference. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Washington goes with the ace set here. The halfback with the carry. He's dropped at about the 29-yard line. Pickup of about five. That brings up second down. Campbell steps up to the line, three wide receivers. He's looking to throw, rolling right, completed, and they get him right around the 18-yard line. That's the arm strength we've been talking about all week. And you know the amazing thing about this guy? We all talk about his arm strength, but did you see how fluid that delivery was? He didn't even look like he was trying to throw it hard. Fakes the run with the pass. Finally make the tackle, and it will be first and goal. He put something extra on that throw, and it'll keep the chains moving. And that's really what it takes sometimes, because defenders are so quick out there. If you don't put a little extra pop on it, they can get there. Touchdown! Clinton Portis could just be so explosive. Of course, he was trained in that one-cut sort of offense. And he really doesn't spend a lot of time juking, especially when he gets down around that goal line. He sees it, and he goes for it, and he delivered another touchdown there. It's good. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. He kicks it. Gathered at the six. Dropped at the 27-yard line. The quarterback threw a pick on their last drive. Let's see if he's able to shake it off. Cutler steps to the line of scrimmage. Single back formation this time. There's a play fake. Goes through his read. And it's caught. Tackled at the 40. Good gain on the pass to the running back. It's tough to pay too much attention to a running back in the passing game because at least half the time they're staying in the block. So when they do slip out, occasionally they can hit you for a big play. Drops back. He throws left. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. He's putting on a show out there. How's he doing it, Chris? Well, one of the things I really like to watch with this guy is the way he goes through his progressions. He doesn't just get fixated on one receiver. He will go to the first guy, not there, go to the second, not there, go to the check down. That's what you like to see out of a quarterback. Looks to pass. Passes to his left. And they get him at the 45. Gain of six on the pass. And that's good for a first down. Playing quarterbacks just like playing golf. Sometimes you get in a rhythm, and right now this quarterback is getting hot. Fakes the run. Fires it over the middle. The ball sails over the intended receiver incomplete. Now that was a case of the quarterback just being a little too cautious on that one. Sometimes it takes a little nerve to fit one in there. You have to give your receiver a chance. Scans the field. Sapp was his intended target on that one, but they can't complete the pass. Two extra defensive backs out there on this one. 
Rock over top, two straight. Come on, man. Rock, now you got Gives to the back. He's dropped right around the 36-yard line. Pretty conservative call for that situation. Yeah, and especially when you consider that most offenses get between 9 and 12, 13 possessions per game. You call a run in that situation, basically you're taking away one of your opportunities. Gets it away cleanly. So this one goes into the end zone and that'll be a touchback. They were able to put together a nice drive on their last possession. They'll be looking to make it two in a row on this drive. He drops back. Gets the pass away. He's brought down around the 37-yard line. And this receiver just loves it when the defense is in man covering. Yeah, there's no better feeling than when you're coming off the ball and you know it's just you and the guy across from you. That's just good old-fashioned football, but you also know typically when you get man coverage, your quarterback is under pressure. Campbell dropping back. With a pass, it's completed. He's tackled around the 42-yard line. Pick up a five on the play. Second down and five. Ball on the 42-yard line. Campbell comes up to the line. Three wide receivers split out wide. Looks to pass. This one falls incomplete. Moss was the intended receiver, and he can't bring it in. From their own 42-yard line. The defense is in the nickel. Campbell calls for motion right. He drops back to pass. He throws a bullet across the middle. He's dropped at the 46-yard line. The quarterback just rifled that one in there for a good game. Everybody knows about this guy's arm strength, and if you wanted to see an example of it, right there it was. On play action, makes the throw out to his right. Drops the sure pick, and it's batted away at the last minute by the defender. Just when it looked like the quarterback might sneak that one in there, a late pass defense and a good play. The Redskins come out with four wide receivers, the quarterback in the shotgun. Looking to throw. Looks for a man open. Crosses the line. And they get him right around the 38-yard line. This play call really didn't make much sense. Now, at this point in the game, when you know that not only is the defense working against you, but so is the clock, a run call here probably is not a very good idea. He makes another catch. That one worked pretty well. It sure did, and I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts, because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. The Redskins line up with an offset eye backfield. Drops back on first down. Fires it out. Hit him in the hands, but he can't hang on. And he just managed to get a piece of it. Nice play by the defender. And as a receiver, you really have to do a better job of coming back to the football at that point. You have to help the quarterback. Back to throw. He's under pressure. The rush gets there, and he goes down. That's sack number nine. They got to him again. And the beat goes on. Nine sacks in one game. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. I was counting them on my fingers, but I'm almost out of fingers at this point. Dumps it out left. Tackled at about the 31. Another completed pass puts him over the 300-yard mark but it's got to be a little frustrating to have the kind of success that he's had and still be on the losing side of the scoreboard. And they motion a guy to the right. He's looking to throw. Surveys the field. And he's out of bounds, incomplete. They'll start this drive at the 32-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Scatter, scatter, scatter. 
Play action. Makes the catch. What a hit. I don't think he even saw that guy. Short pattern results in a completion for the offense. You know, that's not one of those plays that's a huge gain by any means, but that's really the essence of an offensive game plan. You have to start hitting some of those short, intermediate routes, and that begins to open everything else up. Brings it in. What an open field tackle. Young gains a handful of yards on that reception. Offense comes out needing just a yard for the first. Cutler is under center. Single back backfield. They'll give it off here. Brought down at the 46-yard line. And he put up a pretty nice run there. Yeah, that was a big-time carry there. You can tell the coaches have a lot of faith in this ball carrier to allow him a chance to run the football in that situation. Looks to pass. He lays it out there. Incomplete pass. He aired it out on that last play, but led his receiver a little too far. And this receiver is a guy that you want to give a chance to make a play on the ball. He's so good at making adjustments while the ball's in the air, but not if you throw it that far. It's the tailback. Makes a cut, and he will be hit and dropped. One yard gain on the play, and so it'll be third down. The offense facing another third down here as they line up. The Redskins line up with a nickelback. Straight ahead with a fullback. He's brought down at about the 47-yard line. The defense probably wasn't looking for the run there. Hey, and as a defense, if you want to run the ball in that situation, go ahead, come up and make the tackle. You can go off and pout in the corner. We'll go back and celebrate with a little glass of water. Gets the punt away. The ball will go into the end zone for a touchback. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. Cooley takes off in motion. They'll throw on first down. Throws on the run. Threw it right to him, but he can't hang on. Thomas was his intended target on that one, but they can't complete the pass. Campbell comes up to the line with four receivers split out wide. Tennessee, Tennessee. Yeah, we see that Over, 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 over. Looks to pass. Short throw to the left. He's dropped around the 32-yard line. You just can't let him get the ball, can you? That reception put him over 100 yards. And this receiver just looks so confident catching the football. You know, if, if you really believe in your hands, it gives your eyes a chance to look away and try to make some runs after the catch. This guy knows he's going to make every catch and do it solidly. Brought down at the 47-yard line. And that one will go for a first. And really top-notch quarterbacks know how to throw a football in there without leading his receiver into trouble. That was a great throw. Setting up play action. Catch is made. And they get him right around the 46-yard line. Cooley gains seven yards with the catch. Second and three coming up here. Campbell lines up under center. I formation this time. He drops back to pass. Rifles it to the middle. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. Randall L was the intended target on that incomplete pass attempt. Campbell back in the shotgun for this one. They'll throw for the first. Passes on the move. He's dropped around the 41-yard line. Nice heads-up play by the quarterback. I agree. I like the way he stepped up and delivered that throw. He just simply is taking what the defense is giving him. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Shotgun formation. Come on, come on, a little hustle, a little hustle. Turn over, 
They'll throw on first down. Throws out left. So they get a first down on the play, and that was a very nice catch. If you have receivers that can make catches like that, it is just almost impossible to defend. As a quarterback, you just throw it to the open spot and know that guy can go get it. What a play. After reviewing the play, the ruling in the field is overturned. They will overturn this one, saying it hit the ground. And really those trap catches are so difficult because the officials are stationed around the perimeter of the play, and a lot of times they just don't get a good look, one that we can see much better sometimes on television. Looks to pass. Short throw to the right. Almost picked. What an effort out there. He just got his hands in there and broke it up. I love watching the closing speed of this defense. When they see the ball, they go get it. Back to throw. Passes it. Moss dropped the wide open pass. Moss was the intended receiver and he can't bring it in. From the gun. Looking to throw. Throws the bullet across the middle. Tackle at the 29-yard line. They'll keep the drive alive with that great pass for a first down. It is so hard to complete passes like that on fourth down because there's no mystery about what you're going to have to do. And especially in those long yardage situations, you have to execute perfectly, and that's exactly what they did. A punishing blow by the defender. And you know you're going to get hit as a wide receiver. You've got to hang on to those balls, but that was a big shot. The Redskins line up in an I formation. Looks to pass. Throws out right. Budavides has the interception. That's another great play by this defense. Well, I don't know if he could believe that this guy picked him off the first time, so he went back to the well and uh, he got caught again. It's first and 10, ball on the 20. They line up in an eye. Nice play fake. He's running out of time. Pass is complete. And they get him around the 44-yard line. And a great pass by the quarterback to convert for the first. And what we're seeing out of this quarterback is a variety of throws. Yes, he has the ability to zip it in there when he needs to, but we've also seen some touch throws, a very complete repertoire. First down, 10 to go. Regular, regular. Denver lines up in the offset eye this time. He's dropped right around the 50-yard line. The running back picks up six on that play. Second and four. The Broncos line up with three receivers, single back formation. They go with the run. He fights forward to about the 49. They pick up two yards. Well, that time the outside linebacker came on the run blitz. They got some penetration and shut down the play. They stack the line of scrimmage here. We'll see which linemen are stronger. Young left side. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. Got a couple, but we'll still be short of the mark. Great play by the defense. You always hear coaches talking about whoever gets lower. Get your pad level lower than the offensive lineman. That time this defensive line did exactly that. He gets it away. 
So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The quarterback leads his offense back onto the field after turning it over on their last drive. Campbell will come to the line with a three-wide formation. Back to pass. Short pass to his left. Tackle up to 21. Not much of a gain at all on that completion. What happened on that one? Well, I think the offense really just trying to make a safe throw rather than taking a big chance and throwing it down the field. You get the ball in the hands of your receiver and let him try and make a play. That time, nothing there. That'll bring up third and nine. Ball on the 21-yard line. Looks to pass. He throws on the run. And he can't hang on to it. Thomas was his intended target on that one, but they can't complete the pass. Looks like they're going to go for it here on fourth down. This one is over, folks. Just time for one more play to get some stats. So don't be surprised to see everyone trying to pick this one up. Drops back. Looking for a receiver. And he makes another deep catch. Boy, did he fire that one downfield. This guy's arm is really something, isn't it? He's not afraid to make any throw at any time. Campbell takes it back. Heaves it deep over the middle. Abdullah gets the pick. And this one's over. Our final score is the Broncos 26, the Redskins 13.